is here and we have the specs, the release date and the price of the latest foldable phone. So let's break down all the details. First things first, the phone costs 1,999 US dollars and it will be released on September the 18th with pre-orders beginning on September 2nd. Let's talk about the stuff on the spec sheets. We did find out a few details about the phone, namely that the front will have a cover that is a 6.2 inch Super AMOLED display where it opens up to a 7.6 inch dynamic AMOLED display with a 120 hertz variable refresh rate. And it's covered in Samsung's ultra thin glass, also similar glass to that used on the Z Flip. But now we know some other details about the phone that we didn't know previously. The other top line specs are strikingly similar to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. That includes the 120 Hertz refresh screen that I mentioned earlier, also a 4,500 milliampere hour battery, 12 gigabytes of RAM. It is 256 gigabytes storage, which is a bump up from the lower 128 design, which allows the phone to enter into flex mode, pretty much the same as the Z Flip, so it can stay open and hold its orientation when you want to do things like take selfies, watch a movie, or do a video call totally hands-free. Samsung has also said that the hinge has been tested to 200,000 folds. That is the same rating as the original Galaxy Fold. Now, I do have some bad news to bring you, and it is that this phone is... The color is Gorilla Glass Victus, which is the current so-called strongest level of Gorilla Glass that you can get at the moment, but on the back, the cover is Gorilla Glass 6, so it's last generation's glass. The screen protector, 12 megapixels on all three cameras on the ultra that you've shot. Then you'll also be able to show someone that you're taking a photo of, if you have the phone open, they'll be able to see what the preview of the image looks like using the front cover. Then there's an auto framing feature. Now this one sounds pretty interesting. When you're taking a video, the camera will use machine learning and facial recognition to work out how many people are in the frame and be able to follow the action. So it doesn't mean that the phone itself is gonna just move on its own. 108 megapixel sensor on something like the Galaxy to have one app on one side of the screen and one on the other when the phone is open. You'll also be able to have three apps open at one time, be able to change the layout and size accordingly and set a preset. You'll also be able to drag and drop between the different windows, for example, if you have like a PowerPoint open in one side and then your gallery in the other game as it is on the Note 20. The Z Premiere service that comes with your 2000, there is access to golf course it takes advantage of the Z Premier service and if it's of mine so you don't have to completely buy a brand new phone if something happens to that internal display. All right, that's a lot to take in, but we are going to be getting our hands on a Z Fold 2 really soon, so we'll have lots more hands-on impressions and of course a full review to share with you.